You will become an explorer into the mysteries of life. Why are we attracted to one person and not another? What happens when we confront our darkest fears? Can we ever become young again? What are the limits of human endurance? Celebrate the power of the human spirit in its relentless pursuit of knowledge. The more we know, the more powerful we become. Explorations. On Explorations, my beauty sets our hearts on fire. How Jason and Hannah create the ultimate first impressions. Why being a good mover makes you sexy. And a scientific breakthrough reveals how these two women's monthly cycle affects their beauty. Every day, attraction starts the same way for millions of people around the world, with a glance. The physical features we see in each other can light the flames of passion. Despite our very different backgrounds, these signs of beauty may be the same the world over, and we may be biologically programmed to spot them. I think that uh, there is very good evidence that our perceptions of beauty are indeed hardwired. If we look at different societies, different ethnic backgrounds, people's perceptions of what is beautiful are very, very consistent. Surprisingly, the very first impression we make on other people often has nothing to do with our faces or our figures. It's all to do with the way we move. This is one of the first things people notice from a distance. New research is revealing that it's a key part of the attraction game. Movement could well be signaling an awful lot of information which could be geared in towards attractiveness. If somebody is coordinated and athletic, they are giving off a very positive signal that they are of good genetic stock, if you like. In the animal kingdom, graceful and athletic movements tell a potential mate that a creature is fit, healthy, and coordinated. So it's likely to be a good hunter and to have good genes, just what you want in a mate. That's why evolution has programmed animals to be impressed by good movers. Experts are now beginning to think we humans are no different. No wonder we're mesmerized by people who move with extraordinary grace. But is being a good mover enough to make you attractive? 